Why we love women. Because they have round breasts with little knobs that wake up when it's cold. Because they have fluffy and juicy behinds. Because they have faces with warm and childish traits. Because they have full lips, decent teeth, and tongues that don't disgust you. Because they don't smell like sweat or bad tobacco. Because all small kids smile at them when they walk by. Because they walk proud on the street, head up, and shoulders tucked into their back pocket, and they don't respond to your look when you stare at them like the last maniac. Because with an unexpected courage and elegance, they overcome all of the servitudes of their delicate anatomy. Because they are daring and inventive in bed, not out of perversion, but to show you how much they love you. Because they do all the annoying housekeeping without complaining or demanding the slightest bit of recognition. Because they don't read porno magazines and don't navigate porno websites. Because they carefully arrange and combine all sorts of cute objects to their clothing according to incomprehensibly difficult rules of color and order. Because they paint and draw their face with the passion and precision of an inspired artist. Because they have the same obsession of slenderness as Giacometti. Because they have and will always be girls. Because they play chess, cards, or ping pong without caring about who is going to win. Because they carefully drive in their polished candy-like convertible and want you to admire them when they rest their tires at the red light. Because they have a way to solve problems that drives you nuts. Because they have a way to think that drives you nuts. Because they tell you that they love you right at the moment when they love you the least. Just like a form of compensation. Because they don't jack off. Because every now and then they have a little suffering. A rheumatic pain, a constipation, or a blister. And all of a sudden, you notice that they are people. People like you and me. Because they are extraordinary readers for whom three quarters of the world poetry and literature is written. Because Angie by the Rolling Stones drives them insane because they wage a total and inexplicable war against kitchen bugs. Because even the fiercest businesswoman wears ornated flowery thongs woven with the finest of satinated threads. Because there is nothing more intriguing than doing laundry and hanging up the underwear on the balcony to dry. A black white or red piece of cloth, partly satinated and partly rough, makes you wonder how small of a surface they have to cover. Because in the movies, they never take a shower before making love, but only in the movies. Because you never come to an agreement about the beauty of another woman or another man. Because they really seem to believe in reality. Because they not only sympathize, but truly care about who is dating who in Hollywood. Because they don't fantasize about how they would give it to the cute guy on the metro. Because they drink crap drinks like martini orange, gin tonic, or vanilla coke. Because they're blonde, ginger, brunette, sweet, quirky, warm, and gentle. Because the best part of the day is the morning coffee when they nibble on some biscuits during an hour and set their day on track. Because out of them we come and then we return. And our whole mind evolves round and round like a heavy planet, constantly 
and steadily revolving around her.